Uh, this time we'll ask Commander Dan Manning and Lieutenant Commander Fred Lord Pledge. Stand. Lord, and just bless our children and our young people and our whole community as we move forward towards the end of this school year and just be up with those people who are hurting and have various needs, Lord, and just continue to bless us here in Coffee County. We're thankful for all opportunities you've given us to lead this school system. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Uh, adoption of the agenda. We need a motion to adopt the agenda. I move we adopt the agenda. Preston? Preston. Mr. Wilson? All favor? Opposed? All right. The uh, mission and vision of the school system, destination graduation for college, career, and life, and creating a stronger community through an equitable and excellent education for every student. Tonight we have special recognition of Teachers of the Year. So Ms. Kim Miller, if you want to go ahead and present the Teachers of the Year. And because of COVID and the fact that we're still somewhat social distancing, we'll, we'll do a virtual uh, recognition of our Teachers of the Year this year. Thank you, Dr. Lee's and board members. The Coffee County Teacher of the Year program annually spotlights the teaching profession and recognizes outstanding teachers from all of our schools. The candidates for Teacher of the Year should have the following qualifications. And I will add, these qualifications are outlined by the Department of Education Teacher of the Year program. A certified classroom teacher in pre-K through 12th grade, including special education, physical education, art, music, media specialist, and ROTC teachers. An exceptionally dedicated, knowledgeable, and skilled teacher who's planning to continue an active teaching status. A teacher who inspires students of all backgrounds and abilities to learn. A teacher who has the respect and admiration of students, parents, and colleagues. A teacher who plays an active and useful role in the community as well as in the school. A teacher who is poised and articulate and possesses the energy to withstand a demanding and tiring schedule. The Coffee County Teachers of the Year for 2021-2022 are from Ambrose Elementary School, Ms. Bridget Mercer. From Broxton Mary Hayes Elementary, Leanne Allen. From Eastside Elementary, May May Nugent. From Indian Creek Elementary, Becky Sherrill. <clears throat> From Nichols Elementary, Dana Tyre. From Satilla Ele Elementary, Takeda Wilcox. <clears throat> From West Green Elementary, Jenna Harper. From West Side Elementary, Tina Nina Stone. From Coffee Middle School, John Derrick Hutchinson. From George Washington Carver Freshman Campus, Tabitha Polk. 
from Coffee High School, Lori O'Neill, and from Wiregrass Regional College and Career Academy, Violet Marchman. One winner from these um, Teachers of the Year um, from this group will be named Coffee County's Teacher of the Year. The winner will be announced this fall and will then apply for the Georgia Teacher of the Year. Um, at this time, I'd like for us to give these Teachers of the Year a big round of applause. We're great. And I know that we will recognize them again soon. I'm not sure exactly how that will be done because we're still in um, limbo, I guess, about a convocation or the football game or where we will um, recognize them, but we will recognize them and name our Coffee County Teacher of the Year. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Miller. Thank you, Ms. Miller. Congratulations to all of our Teachers of the Year. That's just a wonderful program. Thank you. <coughs> Our next item on the agenda is the consent agenda and on the consent agenda we have the minutes from our last monthly meeting and we have the financial reports that were reviewed in our work session prior to this meeting. We have the Satilla Regional Library Board of Trustee member that we're going to be appointing tonight. We have a couple of technology purchases that we're asking the board to approve tonight that were discussed in our our uh, work session prior to this meeting and then we have the public review of policy descriptor code GBIA <coughs> if it uh, pleases the board I would ask the board to approve this consent agenda okay, we need a motion to approve the consent agenda Mr. Wade second Mr. Lott second all in favor opposed all right and the next item on the agenda is the George Washington Carver uh, freshman campus renovations and we have uh, Charles E. Lewis construction is the uh, low uh, bid on that project and we're asking the board to approve uh, Charles E. Lewis construction as the uh, contractor for renovations at, at George Washington Carver Freshman Campus. Okay, we need a motion to approve the bid. Mr. Wade. Yes, sir. Mr. Preston, all in favor? Opposed? Okay. Great. Okay. And I would ask the board that we move to an executive session to discuss or deliberate upon the appointment hiring or evaluation of an employee of the school district to discuss personnel. We need a motion to the session. Sure. Great. Second. Best. Great. Have a motion to the executive session. Make a motion to the Mr. Wade, favor. Okay. We need a motion to approve the personnel for this month. Yes, sir. I would ask the board to approve the personnel list as presented. Okay, we need a motion. I move we accept the uh, personnel recommendations. Mr. Preston. I'll second. Mr. Wade, favor. Okay. Any other comments? If not, meet with the Thank you, sir. No.